Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode on the Nurse Karma series. Today, I'm gonna be making you guys EKG experts. Okay guys, so I have found a way to make EKG interpretation completely dummy proof. I have broken it down into four simple steps. Number one, we need to know our EKG values. For example, normal PR interval. Then number two, we need to know our graph paper, what it looks like. And we need to know like there's big boxes. How much is the value for that? There's little boxes. What's the value for that? Then we need to go ahead and know what is the rate? What is a normal rate? And lastly, number four, we have the rhythm. Is the rhythm regular or irregular? So let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to memorize what the PR interval is. Normal PR interval is between 0.12 to 0.20. And this is when the atrium is depolarizing. Then we have the QRS interval that has to be less than 0.10 and this is the ventricle depolarizing. And then we have the QT interval, which a normal interval is less than 0.40, and this is the ventricle repolarizing. All right, so the second step is for you guys to familiarize yourselves with EKG paper. It's important for you guys to memorize that the tiny boxes, the small boxes are worth 0.04 seconds. And in a big box, there's five of these tiny boxes. So a big box is worth 0.20 seconds. Okay guys, so it's important for you guys to know that whenever you interpret EKGs, you wanna make sure that you're looking at a six second strip. What does this mean? There's markers above the EKG paper and from one marker to the next, that's three seconds. The third step is we want to go ahead and look at a six second strip and count how many R's we have. Then multiply by 10. In this case, we have eight. So eight times 10 is 80. It's also important to note that a normal rate is between 60 to 100 beats per minute. Finally, we've reached the fourth step. So you're going to go ahead and grab your calipers and measure from one R to the next. That's your R to R interval. If it's the same throughout the six second strip, then we know we have a regular rhythm. If it's different, then we know we have an irregular rhythm. Okay guys, so I hope you found this video to be super helpful. Um, I remember what it was like being a nursing student and how difficult EKG interpretation was and how I thought that I would never be able to understand it. But here I am today, a tele nurse. This is all I do, interpret rhythm strips all day and of course take care of my patients. Um, so I hope this has made it easy. I want you guys to stay tuned. I will be making more EKG videos. And I didn't want to make like a very long video because I didn't want you guys to be bored to death because I know this might not be the most interesting subject for some of you. Um, but it can be very exciting and I just want you guys to go ahead and just feel the love for this. <laughs> um, for this subject, I mean, cardiac is amazing. So I'm also interested in seeing your comments, seeing what you guys think and you know, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll be thinking of more creative content to bring out to you guys. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and with all my hippie love, I'm signing out. <laughs>